Hi guys, welcome to another video. As you will have just seen, I've just loaded a roll of Ilford XP2 into my new, well it's obviously not new, it's new to me, it's a 40 year old camera, but I've loaded a roll of XP2 into my Olympus OM30 35mm film camera. And what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to take it out on a working job. I'm, I'm actually videoing a wedding at the moment and I'm going to have a bit of time when I can take the odd candid here and there. So I've loaded up with black and white film and let's take it out in a real world working environment. Well, as you can probably guess, it's a little bit later in the day. I shot the ceremony and then we came straight to the reception and I took a few shots there. So all in all, I've probably only taken a handful of shots. It's been quite a full on job. So really, you know, I'm here to do a videography job. So really, I'm just trying to get the odd shot here and there. But anyway, what are my thoughts on using this camera so far? Manual focusing is a nightmare and I'm having to shoot at 1.8. So really, there's been no room for error at all. So I'm hoping the shots have come out okay. I'm taking my time out. I've been taking my time over the shots I've taken. So I'm hoping that's all right. 50 mil, 50 mil's never been my preferred focal length. So really for me using a 50 mil lens is also a bit awkward. I'd much prefer 35 mil. And of course there's the limitation of being ISO 400. Now the film I'm using will cope with underexposure. So what I've done on some shots, I've deliberately underexposed it just to try and get a slightly faster shutter speed to help you eradicate a little bit of camera shake, but I don't know. I'm not sure how well that has actually worked. Would I dream of using this in a full-on wedding situation, a paid gig, just shooting film? No, not in a million years. And if I was going to shoot film at a wedding, I think one thing that has really sh struck me is that I would use an autofocus camera. For me, manual focus, especially with the small viewfinder, it's... It, it doesn't work for me. That's not to say it won't work for other photographers. It's just for me, I'm so used to autofocus. But you know, for a little bit of fun, it's it's been great. Hopefully I've got some shots for the bride and groom. So next up, it's the evening reception. Hopefully I'll get another couple of shots there. I don't think I'm going to have a lot to share with the bride and groom, but you know, really, if I get a few nice ones for them, it's a bonus. Okay, it's a few weeks later, I've got the scans back and uh, I'm going to give you a few thoughts about the whole experience of trying to shoot a vintage camera at a wedding. Uh, the reality is it's tough. I wouldn't dream of doing it as a paid job, I'll be honest. Uh, what I did find particularly, what was particularly telling for me, was as soon as the light levels dropped, that basically I'm so used to like, using my Sony A7 IV, which is recording at the moment, which I can use at ISO 6400, no problems at all really, and not really worry about it. So when my film was maxing out at ISO 400, and even with a 1.8 lens, you know, it, it's, it, was, it was hard to get anything. So really, that sort of put an end to it. I didn't even attempt to take any first hand shots, because it just wasn't going to happen. So my recommendations would be if you're thinking of using a vintage camera for a wedding, don't. Not unless you're just doing it for a bit of fun and you don't mind what you get and anything is a bonus, which is what I was doing. Because, you know, it wasn't a paid job for me. There was another photographer there taking the proper photo, so really I was just trying to get the odd one here and there. But anyway, let's talk about the camera itself. Because the Olympus IM30 is a bit of a retro classic. And uh, yeah, it's, I, I do like the camera. But what I will say, if you're shooting at 1.8, nailing that focus is hard. And it, it, it's not so much the fact that actually doing the manual focus, it's the fact that you normally, the manual focusing point is in the center, so that's where you get the sort of confirmation that's in focus. So as soon as you sort of focus and then sort of reframe, then it's really easy for that very narrow 1.8 depth of field to be slightly off and for your shot to be slightly soft which did happen throughout the day really. Which of course, you know, really is a bit of a problem. But even when I took it out with the kids on family walks and things like that, 
I was shooting in some dark woodland and really nailing the focus was, it was, it was difficult. But as for the camera itself, for a bit of fun, it, it's, a, it's a beautiful, well-made metal beast of a camera. But it's not too big. Okay, there's a little bit of weight there, but you know, it's, it's comfortable enough to put around your neck and walk around with. And if you've never done film photography before, I'd actually recommend it as a good starting camera because really it's, it's so mechanical. There's not really that much that can go wrong with it. Now, luckily, the metering seemed pretty decent actually, so I was just using the camera all the time for the metering. So that was at the wedding and it was also when I was out with the kids and just doing a walk with it. And, you know, the metering was pretty, as near as damn spot on. And I've got to say that the 50mm 1.8 lens it is a nice lens and when you nail that focus and everything falls into place it does produce beautiful photos as i say it would be a good introduction to 35mm photography but i've got to say hand on heart i would probably go for a camera with autofocus if it's my first 35mm camera um, i've picked up an eos 300 which i paid 10 pounds for you know and, that, and that's got autofocus and, that, and that's, that's great you know because it just makes your life a little bit easier and you can just worry about other things but you know if you want to learn the basics and if you just want a bit of fun the Olympus OM30 is a brilliant camera anyway guys I hope you've enjoyed this video I know it's been a little bit different uh, nature of the game I think but I hope you've got something from it I hope it does sort of show that you know Film cameras are still relevant. You can still use them for most scenarios. Digital's easier, film's more fun perhaps.